Alright, I'm just gonna make this video kind of showing this animatronics and stuff and the way I have things currently because it's been a while and I'm bored, even though it's 3 p.m. Real quick, I do have three animatronics in my bedroom right here. I got Martian Warrior standing here. He's always gonna be up. I just don't have the heart to put him away. <laughs> and if I ever do, it's because I get like a brand new thing that I want out for a little while, but then off season, it's gonna be him that's up because he's just too cool. I was watching Vampire up out temporarily because I just I kind of wanted to see him again. I haven't used him that much, so let's see it. And of course, Demonica. She's going to be out for a while just because of how long I wanted her. Of course, and yeah, oh my god, all the repairs I need to do. I got a flying bat I need to fix. One of these flying bats. Yeah, that flying bat right there needs wire soldered on. Wayne DePoo needs wire soldered. And some uh, mechanism adjustments. That thing has been broken for months, and I still need to fix it. She needs wire soldered in this motor. I'm out of solder, and I've also been kind of lazy. This thing needs soldered. I almost threw it away, but yeah, I'm gonna attempt to fix it. Here's some stuff in here. Those are spirit ball legs right there. Those are like the only Halloween thing in here. These boxes of Christmas stuff. Some are empty, some are not. Just stuff up there. I don't really use snowmen during Christmas. I bring those out in January. Um, stinging fish is back there still. I'm trying to, oh, there's all the shaking ones, like strobies and stuff. I like to have those in my bedroom. I don't know why. <laughs> Doorbells, of course, are still here. There's my, um, pumpkin pulp Santa. I got my two. Electric wires here, because I don't really know where else to put them. Um, here's this room right now. That box is for the vampire. I just have it there for now. That thing might have to get moved. He's covering the light switches. I might put him on that wall there and put the uh, Pennywise back back there. Just because I, I mean, it gets annoying every time I have to move it. Um, here's Darling Dollies, my cute large spirit balls. I don't know if I mentioned this, but the other day, one of his other wigs broke. Sure, I can modify it somehow, but, yeah, that's fun. I put John Doe back in his original box. That kind of, it was kind of bugging me that he was in a trash bag. And I put all the step pads and random shit that was in that box right here. And she still pushes out. I don't know why. She is off. She, you can't turn her off anymore. She's just gonna go. I put the burning grooms there. I think they look pretty cool there. This is kind of bugging me a bit. It's getting a little out of control there. I feel like my tabletop collection is not gonna be as extreme. I mean, I'm, I'm also getting like Jimmy one, but newer stuff might not, unless I see them for like dirt cheap or something, which is what buyer's market is. That's why I have that pumpkin down there. Nothing. I need to find a button for this thing, actually. Kind of want to put buttons back. Dancers here. Side, the only a couple side steppers that I have. I should have got Sam and Lydia, but I spent so much money that day, so I just did not have the courage to <laughs> buy two more things. God, that was a nightmare. And there's the butler. My grandpa never asked for him back, so he might be staying. No promises, so... <laughs> Here's some more. Here's my dancers up there. Still trying to find more freaky geeks. I the Frankenstein I'll be able to get sometime. I'm just not in that big of a rush to get it. They're like really expensive right now. As for the skeleton, I don't want to get the super freak one. I want to get the play that funky music one. Supposedly super freak is supposed to be more rare, but that's all I see on eBay, so I'm not sure what to believe. Here's that heads up skull there, the cattern. The dancing ghost I got for free. Suit. It works fine. There's some stuff down there. That witch turned on again. Three footers. I might have to get rid of some of the three footers. Like this one specifically, I don't really care about. Because that one might end up going. And there's that haunted rock. There's some ran other random tabletops back there. There's that spider. I still need to put new battery contacts in there.
just that weird walking witch I got from Goodwill recently. Good grave name, Joel. Just keep it him. He's one of my first ones. It's like really only a cup. Damn, it's really hard. And I like the ghost boy, and I freaked out when I got him. I like the witch. I like the zombie. I made part with that ghost, and I made part with him. But I'm not positive yet. Don't beg, don't bug me about him. Especially him, because I don't really think anybody cares about that. <laughs> There's some of my hanging ones that are kind of just randomly there. I need to make this look better sometime. There's that guy, the only guitar guy I have. Brain Monster. I haven't touched him in a while, but last time I used him, he worked pretty, pretty good, so he should be fine. Down there, Corey, Corey, I'll get to my boxes in a second, actually. But yeah, I bought him shelf down there, still all my plush type things, except for those two hamsters. Um, some boxed items there. The two big heads I have. Zombie baby and cherub. Dragging snake. I think, I don't know what I did with the box. I think it's stored away somewhere. I might end up throwing it away. Because it just kind of, it's not in very good shape. So, no, it's in good shape, but I just don't have the room for it. There's door knockers. No, those are door knockers, and I can't put him on there, so. Right here, it's just one random stuff. There's the Hot Wheels, Anime Witch, all my lights that have boxes. My schools don't, so they're just there. And I have my purple ones right there. I don't really know where to put those at. Just more three-footer things. Dancing Skeleton still works. Still want to get the Pirate and the Frankenstein, but... I mean, I'll, I can see myself getting the Pirate, but I really doubt I'll find this Frankenstein. That makes sure the Goblin that I'm not even allowed to use yet. Rising Woman. Really disappointed that I couldn't do the haunt this year. That was this year would have been great. Just, to, to my two, two of my clowns right there, wacky mole and nozzles. And two scoops down there. And there's the skeleton rocker, zombies up there. My first life size. I'm done getting clowns, by the way. Unless it blows my mind or something, I'm not gonna get any more clowns. Unless, unless, unless it blows my mind or it's like a remake of one I really like, like Dead Humor. I want Dead Humor. I like him. But no more SVI clowns. <laughs> Been done with those. Um, there's the Twisted Jack right there. There's Jumping Spider, Tax Spiders down here, I think. Yep. These Groundbreaker dudes. I might end up putting those in the attic, to be honest, because they're kind of. They too take up some space. Uh, Gray Watchers right here. My phone battery's getting low. Jeez. This is a Twisted Jack. This is my Magic Power Skeleton Butler. Um, Reagan. A pirate. That might be another one I might sell. And my two other pirates, the ones that are like in one piece, are in storage right now. I'll put them back in here at some point, but I just I hate dealing with them. I might go in the attic too. I got them in like a front porch, covered front porch area that's around it. And that's, that's where I keep like empty boxes and stuff. So they're in there right now. I should probably take their batteries out to be honest, but you know. there's what, the lady in gray. I think she's called. I'm not sure. I haven't used her in a while because I haven't really had a party in a while, and my floor is not big enough for her. One of these days, she's gonna be using she because she's awesome. And there's Evelyn Leach right there. She's okay. Lady of the Graves right there. That disappointment right there. Uh, I'm sure I said the story. If not, they tipped over and cracked. I doubt the skull, but like the spots in between the skulls. So I put some putty there and it's fine for now, but it bugs me a little bit. Down there is the evil witch. Plus, I think some Bumbago broom parts are in there too. The Jimmy and Brian Green skeletons are all the way down there. There's a black heart. Uh, ghost face might be one I'll sell. I'm not sure yet. And here's crawling hands. Groom and gully mummy that I need to fix. Got my phone dropping. Crap. Need to fix that groom and gully mummy. Some dropping spiders, a tree face. Stuff I don't really know where to put. There's Demonica's box. 
Um, that's the fortune teller witch, straw man. I might bring him out again soon. I really like him. The sun star clown. And some below the widow. Yeah, and then there's that cop and that shakes from Big Watch. Darling Dolly's right here. She's one of my favorites from this year. It's a snowman. The Coldernest, very underrated. Um, Eternal Rest, very glad I have her. Here's a box. We had a bag full of random crap. This is all like flying ghosts and hanging shit that I just did not know where to put, so I shoved them all in here. Here's my talking witch right there. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, if you guys want me to do videos on anything again, or like redo reviews, or I'll even do a demo video. Give me an idea, cause like, really, I'm just I have no idea what to do with my channel lately. It's just been kind of, if I get a new item, I might do a, I wouldn't even call it a review. I only talk for like five seconds, but it's review enough, I guess. Oh, and I do have a Halloween handgun switch coming that I only spent thirteen dollars on. Hey, my mommy's actually in my Christmas tree. <laughs> yeah, there's more dancing stuff. There's that mummy. Heavy holder pirate. I want to get the Reaper sometime, but they've been pretty. The prices have been pretty bad. Um, hot, hot, hot skeleton. So can't believe I found that. Um, Terror TV. There's this thing. My mom really likes this. Um, there's happy wear sign. No, I just thought, I don't know if I even said this in the review, but at Menards I picked this over a strobing skull. And I've been so mad at myself about that. I'd rather have the strobing skull. It was the Jimmy one. The one that played the Exorcist theme. Yeah, I'd much rather have that. And there's my... Uh, my Menard's talking skull there. And crap. Another big meter, <laughs> this is the problem I've been having lately. Yeah, I don't know where to... I'll just put this up here for now. I don't want that to fall again. Yeah, there's more dancing stuff back there. There's a toilet skeleton. I really like that. That's funny. I sometimes hang hanging things here. There's that. Pains and Reaper. Um, a jar of souls. Some of my phones and other things over there. Right here... Uh, there's all my pumpkins. There's more pumpkins there. And uh, my tucky mirrors back there. And there's the two from Lowe's. Really glad I got those. There's my two zombie heads back there. There's the statue guy. Cage Skeleton remake. Toasters back there. And the snow globe I got from Buyer's Market. It's just Tombstone. I really like this, but I kind of wish they... Gave it more support on the back. She's just not gonna shut up. There's candy bowls. Here's this thing. Look out behind you! What do you call a witch on the beach? A sandwich. Oh no! Oh my god! I gotta shut her up. She's just gonna annoy me. She's gonna drive me nuts. Actually, I went all the way down. Ah, great. Now she's going again. Oh, she's just going to go. That thing's so annoying. Let me give it a minute. I wish I got the Reaper version of this, too. They were, like, dirt cheap at the time. I did not... I mean, I was a freshman in, in high school. I did not have a job yet, so I did not... I saved every bit of money that I could to get things. Honestly, I don't even remember really what I bought that year. But I was hoping to go back later and get the Reaper, but they were all gone. Because they were clear. This was $25. Or maybe 28 or 27 I don't know. 
Oh, I only had me up to 50. I should have got them both, but, yeah. And that are, like, really expensive on eBay, and it kind of bugs me now we have the witch. It's like she's missing something. I'm trying to get that last battery out. She's... She's finally... I'm going to put the cover on one-handed. There we go. Got the batteries out. I think I'm missing one. What the hell? I took them out. Oh, I only saw three batteries. Where the, oh, there's, there it is. Yeah, there's that thing I just showed. There's Bob and Go Candle. My Bob and Go Ghost is somewhere back here. I think it's right there. There's the mini scarecrow. My big one's up there. Which I might test that too soon because that's one of my favorites. Just that witch flash I've had for years. Another phone, the cage, the haunted books, dragon doorbell thing that was only like five bucks. More candy bowls. And there's shit inside the candy bowls. And yeah. Here's this thing, which honestly, I don't even know if it works. It's just like a Jimmy knockoff. It's, I forget what it's called. Diamond Star. I don't know. Here's my Costco pumpkin. I really like this thing. Leaf. We give an angel. This thing, which always dies on bat on batteries. I don't know why. Right, her ba his batteries are dead. I don't know why, but the batteries always seem to be wasting in that thing. That weird witch. I might end up putting this in a lot of something on eBay because I just don't. I got it because I was curious, and that was it. But yeah, there's all my plush stuff. There's the one haunted doll I have, and I didn't even buy the spirit. I bought it from Goodwill, which was kind of crazy. Yeah, there's. I only gray mark right. Well, no, I have two gray mark punk or Halloween items. There's a witch in there somewhere. Here's this vampire. Get it. Shove this back here. I don't really keep this part organized because it would be kind of hard to. I got one more plush one up there, um, like in a box. Yeah, there's my haunted tree. That's one of my favorites. Um, there's that clown right there that never works, but it came in that plot. Facebook marketplace lot. There's something sitting up here. What the hell? I don't know why that's up there like that. It shouldn't be like that. My cat. There's my other cat. Got two cats. Dragon books. Computer. Radio. Just radio. My. You know. Okay, he's off. Ghost Boy should still work. I don't know if there's batteries in it, but... Yeah, it still works. The batteries are kind of low, though. I just don't really know how to store these things. I don't... This is this is a bedroom, guys. This isn't a big, giant room at all. So, I don't have the space that I need to store the things here. I guess I kind of create a little bit more space here. Grim Game of Angel. Grim Game of Angel actually can go over here. Rising Witch. Honestly... What I should do is get a big long box for all these three foot ones. Honestly, I should take them apart. If I remove the staples, I could take them apart and I could put them in a box and stack it up over here somewhere with the rest of them. That's probably the best thing to do. There's the Grave Riser. He's still having. He's still weird. I don't really know why he's doing what he's doing. Let me get this 
kind of back to normal. But here's the butler. Help yourself. Just don't ask what they're made of. You don't want to know. These guys. Actually, I will go ahead and demo the Grave Riser, just so you can see what I'm talking about. That there should be right here. I think this is it. Nine volt. It should be. Wait. Nine volt, one thousand milliamp. How much did you take? Nine volt, two thousand milliamp. That's probably why he squirts out. I mean, he works. Like, it's a, it only shorts out in the first activation. I still need to freaking fix his clothes. God, that's annoying. That's really, that's pretty bad, actually. I need to do something about that. Oh, yeah, I have a hot glue, but obviously the hot glue didn't hold. I don't see him breaking anytime soon. Unless that's, that's a board issue or something, which I hope not. But... I don't see his gears breaking anytime soon. Could I replace every gear inside this thing except for the head turning? And honestly, the head turning is not listen to that. It's like brand new right there. That's not going to break anytime soon. Also, I really missed an opportunity to get a witch. It was one on Mercari for 80 bucks. I should have got it. I didn't. I'm kind of pissed at myself for that. So one of these days, I will get a witch. I mean, I found him, didn't I? <laughs> I think he's rarer than the witch, actually. And he's not reaching the thing. Hang on. Also, he does not reset when you first plug him in. He has to do that one thing, and he'll do it. And I keep him up because he does have springs in there, and that's the part point where you should keep it at if you don't want the springs to wear out, which, I mean, I don't really know why it matters. I mean, yeah. He's right there because he actually fits pretty good over there for the witches. But I kind of just want him down. I brought him down to do that video with Demonica and that and a zombie. And I don't know. I kind of I might just put him against the boxes or something because he's cool. Honestly, I should probably put him in his box, but his box is full of Hallmark snowmen right now. Which I'm sure I could find a different box at some point, but that it's in that room I was talking about earlier. And there's, we put all of our Christmas totes in there. Like after we get the decorations out, we put we put all the totes in that room, and you can't walk in there right now. So after Christmas, maybe, but not right now. That I'm not going to do that. I mean, I had to go digging for this box earlier, and that was not fun, so. But yeah. I just gotta keep them down, because honestly, I don't really think that's, those springs are a big deal. His arms are always weird to me. There's that one more street foot guy. I guess I could test out some of these things. Does this thing still have that weird glitch? What? 
stopped talking, but that lies is lighting up again. Yeah, it's just I don't know what I did. I was I I had to do some cleaning to it because they put the sticker like right on the pumpkin somewhere, like right here. There was like all kinds of tape and shit on it. And it was so dirty and I took a rag and got it off, but I didn't soak it in water or anything, so I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, there's my Harry Potter hat. I, I keep forgetting to have that thing. <sighs> yeah, I'm at the point where I forget I have things. Yeah, that's a problem. Um, but, my, I don't know. I'll figure out something to do with it. It's cool. There's this pumpkin. Oh, and I got two more up there. There's the Javern Jack and the singing one. This one is the one I found at Goodwill. I think it should still work. Unless the batteries died. Which they could have. I wouldn't be surprised. Or that wire came off again. I don't know. It's one of the two. Here's this one. I did duct tape again, so. <laughs> it's cool. I have a lot of these ones that split in half. I mean, I think I'm going to listen to CBS one. The weird, really weird looking one from CBS. And that's like. That's it. Like, I had no attention on getting this. I was just there at Bar's Market at one point. The place where I got her and Carver and a bunch of other things for like half off or more. Yeah, that's where I found him. I found that mirror there too. I found a bunch of stuff there. That's a really good store. And here's the Witch Doctor one. I want to get together one sometime. This one. This is my favorite looking one of the Talking Pumpkin series. I didn't want to get the original one sometime because I heard that one's like really big. I don't care for the white one. It has generic phrases and I don't care for the small one either. So, but yeah, maybe someday I'll get it. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that one for now. And I got a lot of pumpkins. So this thing, this thing is awesome. Not turn on. Try me function. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Here's this one that. I got off eBay. It was one of the first things I ever got off eBay. I didn't even have my own account yet. His batteries are dead. Oh. Be careful, people. I mean... 
off right now. He's turned off. He shouldn't be going. Did I find like the... Hey, now he's wanting to work there, so... And honestly, I got, I've gotten like a lot of nostalgia for this thing over here. Cause I got this when I first started my channel. Like back when I didn't do reviews immediately when I got things. And I just, this was, I got, this was, I, if I remember correctly, I got this around the time where I moved everything from that bedroom into here. Cause this used to just be a storage room. And back then my Halloween room and all these shelves and stuff were in my bedroom, which... Yeah, that wouldn't really be possible right now. <laughs> I mean, it was back when I only had one life side, and it was that zombie. I had a rising from the grave, which didn't last that long. I think those were all my only big ones. My God. Oh, I had a, had two, had a two brooms. That was it. I, got, I, I went to go back on my channel and look back on those days because back then I was able to fit everything I had on these shelves with all mixed here. I even had like my cookie jars on the shelves. I still have all that stuff by the way. They're just in my closet. Those cookie jars and transformer toys and stuff that are in my closet. I'm never getting rid of those. I just can't fit them out anymore. Like same with my singing fish and um Generic, not holiday stuff, Easter, Valentine's. I just don't put them out in here anymore. I don't even really do Christmas in here that much. I did it for like a couple weeks and then turned it back to Halloween. It's just, well, Halloween is my favorite, so. Yeah, this just reminds me of that. It was one of my first eBay things. I did not buy a lot from eBay at that time. And I had to do it through my parents. And I, I think the only thing I got from eBay the whole time was... The writing from the grave. I got this. Two Hallmark things. The tree and the trolling toads. Um Yukon Cornelius, but that was a birthday gift. Um Bumbles that I bought. I'm trying to think about more. It was not that much. Um Yeah, there, I don't really think there was anything else. <laughs> yeah. I remember being so excited to get this in the mail, too. And there, there had to be more Halloween things I bought. I just can't remember them at the moment. Yeah. I don't think I am going to remember it, but, yeah. Here's my, not my original pumpkin trio. I kind of wish they were, but that's just not going to happen. I still have my pumpkins still. There, I turned them into a blown one. I drilled a hole in the back of them and put a light bulb in it. <laughs> These ones do work, though. The speaker might be blowing out soon, though. Yeah, I can kind of hear it crackling there. I don't use these that much because of that. Stay off, get her off. Yeah, I don't use these that much because of that. They're mostly just to have. So I don't really use this one that much either anymore because honestly, if this thing broke, I don't know if I'll ever be able to replace it. This thing is so rare, and every time it's on eBay, it's like a hundred bucks. This is still my favorite pumpkin of all time right here. You know, like the only pumpkins I kind of want to get are... I wanted to know which one of that. And I almost got it years ago. From Big Watch. I want that dancing one from Cracker Barrel. There was one in the antique store. It was 50 bucks. I didn't get it. It's then I saw one on Mercari with the box. I bought it. The seller canceled it and blocked me last minute on it for no reason. Nah, I was pretty pissed about that. 
So yeah, I want those two. I want the other trio of these, but that's not a big major one for me. Yeah. And they were gonna stop just 35 minutes, God. I didn't even realize. Yeah. 